Yeah. All right, time to win back America. Right now, 28 House Democrats say they will not run for re-election this November ahead of another expected red wave. So how much of this can Republicans capitalize on? Joining me now is Ronna McDaniel. She's the chairwoman for the RNC. Ronna, thanks for coming on. Uh, uh, we've been talking about the red wave a, a lot. I, something came out over the last couple of days I think is very important, that you said the RNC says that you're not going to participate in the presidential debates unless what happens. Give us a little explainer on that. So we definitely want debates. We're absolutely going to participate in presidential debates, but we are not going to do it through a biased commission called the Commission on Presidential Debates, a commission that started debates after 26 states had started voting in 2020, a commission that picked a moderator in 2020 that had worked for Joe Biden. We went to them. We said, can you give us assurances that you will not do those same things in 2024? They said, no, we do not assure things to the Republican Party. And we are now taking the step of looking for an alternate venue that will be fair, uh, a fair forum for our candidate. Hmm, interesting, very interesting. Um, one of the other uh, news items that came out yesterday was that Joe Biden said that his running mate will be Kamala Harris. What are your thoughts on running Republicans against uh, Biden-Harris 2024? Well, looking at the poll numbers right now, I I'm pretty excited about a prospect of running against Biden and Harris not just their poll numbers. Uh, it's very sad to see what they've done to this country and the tone deaf ear that they've put towards the struggles of the American people. I mean, families are really struggling right now with high, high gas costs, with inflation, empty grocery store shelves, not being able to find testing for COVID, kids still out of school. The list goes on and on and they don't seem to care. And I think it's time um, for the American people to step up, elect Republicans yeah. in the midterms, and then we can take back the White House in 2024. Ron, I got one final question for you before we have to go. But is this, is the Republican, is this Republican Party the, the party of Donald Trump? Well, I think most voters would say absolutely. I mean, they love Donald Trump. Um, they really want to see him out there campaigning for candidates and be a force in these midterms. Right now, for me, it's all hands on deck. We need every Republican. We need independents. We need Democrats. We need everyone fighting against a Democrat party that is destroying our nation. In one short year, they have unraveled all the things that President Trump did, which was historic while he was in office. Yeah. Ronna, they are handing you at least 22 on a silver platter by ignoring all the things that Mar Americans really are caring about. Ronna, I got to go. Love having you. We'll get you back very soon. Ronna McDaniel, everybody. Thanks Chairman for having me, Eric. RNC. Good to see you again. All right. Well, one senator running for re-election this no November is Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who's running for a fifth term, but he'll be facing competition. One of those seeking to break Schumer's stranglehold on that Senate seat is a familiar face to you. If you watch Newsmax, our friend, host and author Joe Pinion. Joe, welcome to the show. What's your uh, tell us what you're what are you going to do when you beat when you unsee Chuck Chucky Schumer? Well, absolutely good to be here, Eric. Again, I feel like a little bit of a homecoming of sorts, but uh, I thought in many ways the time had come for somebody to stand up and say that what Chuck Schumer and his allies on the left are doing to America, completely unacceptable. You know, you had the president stand up there to say and say, what are Republicans for? I think you framed the argument quite well in your last segment. Americans are for uh, having law enforcement that doesn't prioritize putting PTA moms on a terrorist watch list and making sure that innocent people don't get shoved in front of subway cars. Uh, American people are for people not being stranded in Afghanistan, not leaving leaving $85 billion of 21st century military hardware for the Chinese to reverse engineer after they took over that airport in Kabul, after two decades of failed nation building fell apart in less than, or 20 decades rather, in less than 11 days. So those are the things that I want to be able to talk about in this campaign, the actual lunacy that has been proposed by Chuck Schumer that has led to bare shelves, led to Americans having more money in their bank and less spending power because because they're running that printing press in the sky and running Americans a dollar into the toilet. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a tall order, Joe. You know, you, you're a Republican in a very, very blue state. How do you, how do you convince the? I guess you got to you got to sway the independent vote. What's what's your well, what's your plan for that? Look, I, I always tell people sometimes people's greatest strengths become their greatest weakness. You look at someone like Chuck Schumer, who is the Senate Majority Leader, and yet again can't seem to get the forty billion dollars we need to take care of public housing. Public housing in New York City, the largest slumlord in America, not a billionaire. New York City. 
NYCHA housing in complete and utter disrepair. You talk about the fact this year being the greatest, uh, most dangerous year for law enforcement, 125 percent increase in ambush killings. Uh, people who protect our mm -hmm. communities every single day, putting their life on the line at greater risk today than when Joseph Robinette Biden put his hand on yeah. a Bible. So all of those things, again, lead me to believe we can build an uncommon coalition and convince a yeah. blue, few, previously blue state that it's time for a new leadership and a new direction. Blue, yeah. I, I'll tell you what, what you need to do is go go shake Eric Adams' hand and make sure he's on your side, too, because he yeah. seems to be Joe Pinion. Always yeah. good having you on. Thanks. And, and go to JoePinion.com. Help us out. <laughs> there you go, JoePinion.com. All right, Joe, thank you. All right, thanks.